More than 600 aggrieved disengaged dock workers who worked with three stevedoring companies in Onair and Portacot in River State and Calabar in Cross River State have staged a protest in Lagos to demand payment of their terminal benefits. The workers under the platform of the Maritime Workers Union of Nigeria complained about impacts of unfair labor practices on them. They want Intel's to respect the Nigerian industrial relations process. We have details in this report. More than 600 workers of the Intel's multinational company who have been disengaged since the year 2018 are protesting today in Lagos, Nigeria to demand that Intel's international company should pay their terminal benefit, which has been due to be paid since 2018. I'm a worker with Intel's. I work with a contractor working with Intel's since 2005 to 2013 that the contract was terminated. Intel's up till now, we have not heard from Intel's. The, the reason for the protest is that we are now here, we are crying to the public that the federal government should come to our aid and tell Intel's to pay us our due severance package. And also, federal government also should look into Intel's activities in Nigeria. Intel's have enslaved our workers for that long years. And this is a matured uh, protest. We don't want to take any laws into our hands. That's why we're taking this procedure that we are doing now, so that government should look into it. It's an embarrassment because even our maritime union, work, work union wrote a letter to Intel to pay the benefit. They refused. Until our contract has, was terminated in 2018. And ever since then, our severance package has yet to be paid to us and other benefits attached to. Up to date, we are calling on the federal government because as you can see, even the placard I carried, you can see, it's not just a joke. Over 20 of our members have died as a result of this and yet to be paid. And these people are families. For more than the 600 dock workers who have been declared redundant by Intel's International since the year 2018, they expect that the federal government and relevant authorities will do the needful to ensure that they get paid. Sharon Ijasson, TVC News, Lagos.